Hey guys, welcome back to Mac Farms. We're out here today planting some corn, uh, but it took a while to get to this stage. So let's rewind back and uh, see where it all started here. guys so last week we had pretty good weather all week it was nice and dry we got lots of planting done but we were just waiting on the other farm to finish with that corn planter and unfortunately they never got it finished up with it until Saturday evening now Saturday evening um, it started raining and it rained all day Sunday all day Monday now we're on Tuesday it's still raining um, the forecast is not looking good for the rest of the week um, there, I finished with the planter, so we'll probably pick up the planter this week and just so we'll have it uh, when the weather breaks. But uh, I'm not sure when exactly we're we'll gonna be able to get out the fields <clears throat> with the current conditions. Everything's pretty saturated and all that, so it'll take a day or two to dry up enough before we can get on it anyway. But anyway, it's just a waiting game, and uh, we'll get on it when we get on it, I guess. I'm tired of waiting, waiting. All right guys, the weather's finally cleared up. We're gonna go grab that planter today. Won't be planting today, unfortunately. It's gonna be too wet still, so we'll see how it dries out. But we got some nice days coming here in the next, <clears throat> next two or three days, so we'll see if we can get something done. Right, guys we brought the Samco planter home got it hooked down to 375 and uh, we're just about ready probably tomorrow to do a little bit of planting with it so let's check out the planter first here it is this is the Samco planter Samco system their own units are actually Cavernland uh, we got it mounted on the back of the 375 as you can see uh, we did narrow it up So uh, this is kind of a specialized planter. It's only two row. Uh, as you can see, it has a roll of plastic right there. So it lays down plastic behind the planter on top of the corn and the corn grows through it. It has a uh, chemical tank here for applying chemical. It lays plastic down. Uh, those little things there cover the plastic on the edges but anyway I don't need to explain too much because you guys will see it in action how it works all right my uncle just got back to fill up the herbicide tank on the planter uh, he was planting while we were milking here so we're just finishing up a few things in the barn here and then we're gonna meet him back out there and check out some planting action <laughs>
All right, just finished up that little field there and we're gonna move on to the next one. Uh, this is the second piece that is new corn ground. Uh, the last piece we're gonna do is the corn on corn. We gotta get some more seed, I think, for that. But anyway, moving on. We're doing it guys, we're planting corn. Look, we got six rows done. One row of plastic is two rows of corn. So six rows done. Woo! All right, so a lot of guys have been asking me why we plant our corn under plastic. And the reason is that our growing season here is quite a bit shorter than what you guys see down in the States or in Ontario and places like that uh, for the most part. It's June the 6th here today, and we're just planting now. We planted yesterday, it was the first day. We could have planted a little bit earlier here, you know, maybe the second week of May, third week of May kind of thing, but it's still pretty cold. So planting under plastic here just gives it a little bit of a helping hand on growing. It grows a little bit better that way. Uh, some guys are trying it here without uh, plastic and having kind of mixed results. But the plastic is a proven way to do it. It always works pretty well. So, you know, um, why not if you have the capability of doing it? Now, we are looking at buying our own planter and we would like to buy uh, a conventional planter, but there's just that unknown uh, factor to it, whether it's gonna work or not. So, I don't know, we'll try some here this year, probably without plastic and just see how it goes. But uh, I think for the most part, we're probably gonna stick to the plastic and uh, just do that. We'll probably look for a, a four row planter or something because I don't know, the two row is kind of a pain in the ass. And we got the four row head on the harvester too. So it just makes sense to use a four row instead of a two. But uh, anyway, that's just future things. I don't know if it's gonna happen this next year or the year after or 10 years from now, but that's just kind of the plan. For now, we're gonna use this thing because it does work and uh, it's available to us, so, anyway.
So I'm here standing at the end of the row and uh, my job is to cover the ends of the plastic rows uh, just with a shovel and uh, just so it doesn't blow off. The planter does have a little shovel thing built onto it that's supposed to cut the plastic and then shove earth on the end of the row but it doesn't really work great. Um, I'm not sure what exactly the story is on it. It's not, it's not an air planter. Maybe it worked when it was new. Maybe it never worked. Maybe it needs some adjustment. I really don't know, but it seems like 50% of the time it'll cut the plastic and 0% of the time it'll push dirt on it. So we just uh, we just cut it with the shovel and shove some dirt on it. We got, I'm on this end and dead is way up on the other end. You can't see him anyway, but so it seems to go a little bit quicker like that. We were using just one guy running back and forth, but it's kind of a pain in the ass doing that. So this seems to be working quite a bit better. Well, one thing that's nice about having one fella on each end of the field is I get to have a little bit of a break now while I'm waiting for him to come back. All right, guys, so the weather deteriorated on us pretty quick there. It got real cold, I got my sweater on now. But uh, anyway, we're gonna call her a day. Uh, we'll pick it up probably next week. Whenever the rain stops, because it seems like it's gonna rain pretty good here. So I'm gonna get into the weather, but we're gonna head into town. I got uh, some stuff to do and whatnot. So anyway, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.